Yes, my name's Matt. I'm just getting in touch in regards to your Craigslist ad about the social media position for LikeMind. Um, nice to meet you. Loving the look of your website. Looks great. All well laid out, nice and clean, just like the app, which is awesome. Um, a few suggestions to start with. Um, first, your Facebook and Twitter buttons up the top. Um, a, don't open in a new tab, so you should get them to open in a new tab. Um, the Twitter one does, but the Facebook one doesn't, so, so get that fixed. Um, and with the Facebook one, it doesn't actually link to your page, all it does is share the posts. So people aren't going to be liking your page from here, they're just going to maybe share something, which is a lot less likey, likely. And uh, yeah, you're losing, you, you're losing a like, you're losing pretty much your only chance. It actually took me, you know, one or two minutes to find your page by going into Facebook and searching for it. So um, yeah, that'd be my first suggestion as far as the social is concerned. Um, Ari, call to actions and stuff. Maybe you know you could have just a little string of text up the top next to your social buttons, like you know, connect with us, on, connect with us on Facebook and Twitter, or connect with us here too, or something like that, where you know you're incentivizing people and just asking people to go and do it, because if you don't ask, they don't do. Okay, the other thing is. Um, yeah, same deal down the bottom. Um, yeah, the like, the like, and and uh, the tweet buttons are great, but again, it's kind of you know very small and incom inconspicuous. Okay, moving on to the um, moving on to the the Facebook page. Um, it's obviously very new at the moment, and that's totally fine. Um, it's good to see you using the the about section well. Um, but I'd also suggest that you update all of your uh, information, including mission, everything, every single one of those boxes, update it with keywords and, and key search terms because graph search is coming out very soon if it isn't already for you guys. And um, yeah, it's very important that you get that updated. Okay, the next thing is uh, posting every day. I, I definitely suggest posting once or twice a day. Um, and it doesn't have to be just about, you know, your app and things it can do and people that love you. You know, think less about you and more just about in entertaining people. So it can be anything from like, you know, um, popular posts to memes to, you know, just things that people might actually want to share, you know what I mean? Um, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Here is a, a page I run at the moment for a client. Um, and these guys, these guys are doing great. Um, and as you can see, I'm just posting relevant stuff to organic. They're an organic supermarket and cafe. So I just post things about organic food, anything that's like, you know, re remotely related. And then further down the page, even things like recipes, um, you know, chocolate strawberries. And you'll see that like each, each of these posts are getting quite a lot of interaction. You know, even something like a watermelon fruit grill. You know, this, these guys don't sell watermelon grills, but hey, you can buy a watermelon and go and make it yourself. This got 12 shares. Um, here's, you know, text, just even text statuses are getting one share. Little links for some recipes, one share. This, 13 shares. Uh, one share here, 24 shares here, and this was yesterday. You know, so, um, you know, I'm posting stuff that people want to actually share and it are actually interested in and this is the main thing that you guys need to get used to is thinking less about you and more about the people that are actually following you um, cool so uh, the next thing I can suggest is you know s creating a a 12 week or whatever however many weeks just creating a social media plan and make sure you're doing it at least a month in advance so you know what's coming you're not scraping around for content and you know you can plan and measure everything and test everything and make sure it's doing well so again here's the the organic example um, and each each day you can see there's a planned post growth for the month growth for the week and we're seeing exactly how we're going and, and what's going on and each second week we run a promo, as you can see, intro promo, intro promo, another, uh, where's the next promo, Mother's Day promo was here, um, we we're pushing out infographics, raffles, raffle days, all kinds of stuff, so just to get people engaged and excited about your brand, um, and I do this with all of my clients, so again, you know, let me just show you some, some results, 
8,000% growth in reach, 7% growth in likes, 223% growth in engagement, 600% in increase in talking about this, that was in the first month, and then it still just grows every month. I still haven't had a negative month yet. Um, so, yeah, same deal here. Uh, coming across, um, oh, I haven't even filled this data out yet, but again, they've been <laughs> they've been growing too. Um, some other new little pages, but again, like moving in and putting in, you know, all the different posts. Um, this is this is a blank a blank document. I'm going to give you this plan that you can you know go ahead and use if you like. Um, so you can see exactly you know what you should be measuring and and how to plan it out. Okay, um, the next thing is um, when we go across to your your Twitter. Okay, let's see if we can find. So Twitter. Again, it's only asking you to share. It's not taking you to you know. It's not taking you to to the page. So let's go across like this. Twitter.com. Like mind app. Now most people aren't going to go to this effort, and this is why you've only got 34 followers. Um, okay, so you know you you're poking. I mean, you're posting, you know, a couple in in bulk batches, but it's not often enough, and it's not relevant uh, regular enough. You know, you should be posting really often, and not only about you guys, but just you know, going in and in engaging and responding to people like oh, I want a boyfriend or any of that kind of stuff, following lists like from Cupid and and all those other dating sites and you know all of your competitors just start following them and start rep responding to all the people that that, uh, that are following your competitors. Um, we'll also be running apps, for you, uh, running ads and creating custom page tabs so we'll create a little a tab here for you for the app download and we'll pay for ads to to those tabs and to your page and we'll, I, I can guarantee we're going to get you another minimum of 200 likes in, in the first um, month. So look, this is what I do for a living. I've got plenty of clients you can call and um, and ask and see how see how they like it and see if, if uh, you know you think it's a good fit and I'm basically on the computer way too much so as far as responding to customer service and all that sort of stuff that's not a problem I also have a team um, that helps me look after helps me look after that as well and I'll train them up on exactly what you need so uh, next step just shoot me an email respond to the email and let me know that you're interested I can write you up a full proposal um, this is typically a you know 15 to 20 page proposal where it goes through all the different strategy elements um, breaks it all down tells you what to expect um, your investment limitation of indemnity um, and you know focus points for for campaigns as well as the 12 week plan um, so yeah all of that will be attached in the email it's been so great chatting to you. My name's Matt again, and uh, yeah, get in touch and let's get to work. Thanks, guys. Bye.